and then we'll go downtown after, and we'll dance our socks off. <laughs> My skin begs for you, it burns. Well, guys, I really don't want to do this today. For probably like the last six months or so, I have been avoiding cringy internet videos like the plague because my tolerance for cringe has gone down quite a bit and it's uh, finally caught up to me. We used to look at cringy stuff on this channel all the time. It used to be one of the main kinds of videos I made. I'm sure many of you remember cringe used to be the hot topic. I mean, seriously, who hasn't watched a cringe compilation before? But over the last few years or so, that kind of content has sort of gone away and I honestly think it's just because the internet has kind of gotten less cringy. I feel like there's been an adoption of this sort of general internet etiquette. People are very aware of what they post and how it makes them look. And you know what? I think it's made the internet a duller place. People need goofy social media posts and videos to look back on and think, my god, what was I thinking? At least, uh, that's, that's what I thought before I saw the videos we're gonna be watching today. After watching them, I'm, I'm kind of okay with the internet being a dull place again. It doesn't seem too bad. It's been a long time since a video has gotten a physical reaction out of me when it comes to actually cringing. You know, not just the feeling of I don't want to watch this, but my body actually trying to reject it by moving myself away from the source of the video. But uh, today, Today does it. Allow me to introduce you to a TikToker named Garrett Nolan. He's this guy who does these like relationship skits, I guess you would call them, in which he puts on this act where he's very obviously trying to appeal to what he thinks a woman wants from a man. But as a fellow member of the human race and as a person who is able to read comment sections, it, uh, it doesn't really land that way and he just comes off as the biggest pick me the world has ever seen. The videos are really hard to watch. At least they are for me, so you guys have got to suffer as well. We're gonna start with the video that introduced me to this guy, and I'm warning you guys, it's uh, it's it's pretty rough. One more thing, real quick, before we begin, if the audio in some of these videos sounds kind of weird, it's because I'm trying to isolate just what they're saying and cut out the music because this guy uses a lot of copyrighted music that YouTube is detecting quite quickly. So uh, sorry if it sounds a little bit weird at times. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey, some guy texted you. He wants to know if you'll follow him back. I'll block him if you want. You don't need to block him, love. I trust you. He's a new guy at work. I know. But what I do need you to do is that I'm infatuated. Obsessed. Okay, 15 seconds in, and I'm already seriously considering deleting the project file. Good start. One thing that helps me navigate these videos is ignoring the cringe and focusing on how stupid these conversations are. It's like this guy thinks the average relationship is nothing but just fawning over your partner 24-7. There won't be a single normal conversation during this entire video. The situation will be completely normal, or the girl will say something completely normal like, what do you want for dinner? And the guy's like, I don't know, but I do know I want to tongue your asshole. It's like, come on! On, dude, not everything has to be like that. Well, baby, that's captivated by you. Oh, every ounce of your soul to blend with mine. Because I'm beyond selfish when it comes to your love. I want to use every breath I have left on this earth, getting as close as I can. To Buddy, are you planning on killing this woman? Because that's what you're making your plan sound like. First of all, nobody talks like this, and nobody should, and it only makes a situation that makes no sense to begin with somehow make less sense. So he says he's going to use every breath he has to get as close as possible to having her all to himself. So are they not together? Are they not in a relationship? This girl just asked you if you want her to block some random guy. That seems like a weird thing to say if you aren't in a relationship. Also, seems like a weird thing to say if you haven't behaved in the past to make her think that she should, but whatever. But saying you'd have to do all this to have her all to yourself makes it seem like you guys are not in a relationship, which makes this video a million times worse. If you said this shit to a woman that you are not very familiar with and you're not in a relationship with, she's probably gonna think she's about to die. These things are really not that much better to say to somebody you are in a relationship with, but if this is like your first date or something and you're like, I'm going to kill every single person on the planet until you're all mine, you are probably not going to get a second date. Oh my. I'm a tad bit jealous over that. Guy. I feel like there's only one way to get apart. And which way is that? Giving you all of me. The remainder of this line. Then give it. Relax. 
Garrett, what the fuck are you doing? Not only is absolutely nothing that you're saying making sense. Ah, I'm a little bit jealous over a guy you work with, so the only solution is to eat your pussy. Like what? Whatever, cope how you want, I guess. But let's address the elephant in the room here, Garrett. Um, you are a grown man filming yourself alone in your house, pretending to seduce and fuck a couch. Do you not feel like the world's biggest goofball? Because you should. This is unbelievably embarrassing for you, man. Your fuel pump is bad. I wouldn't think you know so much about cars. Your fuel pump needs to spritz fuel. Did you just come into your headlight or something there, brother? What are you doing? No, like, actually, what is he supposed to be doing here? Is this more horrible pick-me shit? Is he having a mental orgasm because a woman knows what a fuel pump is? Yeah, I don't think that paints you in the light you'd like it to, Garrett. Also, this car would not have a carburetor, so it looks like nobody involved in this skit knows about cars. Into the throat of the carburetor, and it's not doing that. Hey, do you want to go on a date with me sometime? Uh... Oh, I want to say yes. One date. That's all I ask. I just don't know if you're my type. Well, if you don't know, then let's find out. Just say yes. <laughs> just say it. Okay, so what's the situation here? I really need more context, Garrett, so I can know how much I can make fun of you. Does he know this woman? Did he just meet her? Did she pull over to help him on the side of the road or something? My head cannon is going to be that this woman pulled over to help him with his car, because that makes what he said even funnier. Can you imagine this woman pulls over to help this guy start saying what she thinks the problem might be? And he's like, oh, I didn't think you'd know about cars. I thought you were one of them dumb women. Now, you two moderation bots, don't get mad at me for saying that, okay? I think all women are awesome and I stand by that. But the way this guy is framing this is like, oh, you know the basic functions of a car? I would have never imagined. Half of these pick-me acts go so over the top that they end up turning in on themselves and insulting the group they're supposed to be pandering to. It is hard for me to believe in that listen, these days. Listen, listen. I'll put every ounce of my being into making sure that you feel safe, comforted, and happy if we go on a date. <laughs> what the entire day is going to feel like a ray of sunshine hugging your skin. The date will start off with some delicious food. And then we'll go downtown after, and we'll dance our socks off. <laughs> Look, I'm really not trying to be mean here, but I've got to speak my truth. When I first saw this video and I got to this point, I involuntarily gagged. Not only is this the cringiest shit that mankind has ever seen, it's also extremely ironic. This guy's entire shtick is being a good guy, nice guy, I'm gonna take care of you so well. And this entire video is a woman being uncomfortable going on a date with him, and he's like, okay, let me pressure you into saying yes. And, uh... Everything's going perfect from this point, which it will. I'll find the most soft blanket I can for you, and we'll sit on it underneath the stillness of the night sky. We'll turn our heads together and watch the stars. What? <sighs> Why are we can you? sit there in silence if we have to. I want to be in the same space as you, and... Enjoy the perfection that you are. Again, going back to what I said earlier, this is especially true if these two just met, but really under any circumstances, if a person says this to me, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I am this serial killer's next victim. All of this is going to get so extremely ironic here in a minute, so just remember what this guy is saying, talking about this woman's perfection, how amazing she is. Just keep it in mind. Okay, I'll go. You'll go? Yes. Let's go on a date. Okay. Tomorrow? Noon? Noon 30? Perfect. I hope you're ready to dance. I hope you're ready to dance. <laughs> Garrett, buddy? Um, where are you going? Isn't your car broken down? Have you completely forgotten the plot of this video? How are you getting home? Do you have this person's number? Where are you meeting? Are you gonna pick them up? You can't just say noon and then walk home. Sex is not love. Going on dates is not love. Talking to someone 24-7 is not love. Staying up all night for someone is not love. Love is someone who sees the harsh side of you and still chooses to love you. Someone who makes things happen for you when you can. Someone who holds you and calms you down as tears pour out of your eyes. Yeah, it's real rich getting a lecture on love coming from the guy who deems that a woman is perfect based off of nothing but looks. Right, Garrett? Because if you don't know a woman well enough to know that she's into cars or knows how to work on cars, then you probably aren't very familiar with her, yet you're able to say that you just want to bask in her perfection. Seems like you're a little bit of a hypocrite there, buddy. I feel like you would really need to love somebody to know they're perfect, right? It's someone voicing all the good things about when all you see is the bad. It's someone who makes sure you're okay 
It's someone who thinks about you every night and every single day. It's, it's someone who's constantly pouring themselves into you. That's what love is. Garrett, you seem to have a very flawed understanding of what you're preaching. Basically, everything you're describing and everything you're talking about in these videos is not really love. It's infatuation. Love is not constantly needing this or constantly needing that or needing your partner to always give you something in order to prove something. It's much more relaxed than that. You seem to have a very flawed understanding of what deep human relationships tend to look like in real life. You're not living in a movie. Wait, should I do this? Oh, okay. You only live once. You're right. Hi. What's going you can't on? can't marry him. What, what are you, you doing? You cannot marry him. What? My lungs, I... they, they gasp for you. What Your you presence is like oxygen me? and I need it desperately. Like how the breeze surrounds me. My skin begs for you. It burns. At this point, I have gotten over the cringiness of this. Now I'm just getting pissed off. It's genuinely just making me angry to watch these videos. Is that normal? Probably not. But it's like, damn, dude, just shut up. Talking about love in one video and how important it is, and then the next one, you're going to break up a marriage. Your presence is like oxygen. My skin begs for you. It burns. You're just kind of creepy, man. Nothing says self-conceited like thinking somebody can't marry someone else because you're in love with them for the bliss of your embrace I, can't. I become lightheaded by you dizzy from the bare thought that we're surrounded by the same winds that keep us apart i need you like i need the air i want you i love you my god i think this is worse than the one when he tried to fuck the couch i mean seriously at some point it's time for some self-reflection there's got to come a time where you look at yourself in the mirror and you wonder why as a grown man do i spend every single one of my days acting out fantastical situations where i have to beg non-existent women to be with me it kind of gets sad if you think about it too long so i'm gonna stop you love me yes since i first met you i know you don't want to stay in this town and i know you don't want to marry him. All you've ever talked about was moving across the country and chasing after your dreams. I want to do that with you. <laughs> Get in the car. What? I love you. Get in the car. <laughs> Let's go. At this point, I'm honestly just getting distracted by how unrealistic these videos are. Garrett, why is this person in a car? Why are you running distance from where they are? You're telling me this person is alone in their driveway on their wedding day? Care to explain that? Also, is this like a Marvel Cinematic Universe kind of situation? Is all of this happening in the same universe? Are you playing one character here? Because if so, how are you going to explain to the woman that just broke off her marriage for you that you have given a similar speech to probably 15 other women this week? That might cause an issue. However, thank Thankfully for us, we don't have to deal with that issue because I think that I'm done for the day. I've seen enough, Garrett. Well, guys, what do you think? Did you make it through unscathed? There's a whole subgenre of TikTok content that is literally nothing but this. Dudes acting out these goofy scenarios where they paint themselves as these heroes of women. I genuinely cannot understand how they can record stuff like this and then look at themselves in the mirror. I would say that one day the existence of these videos is going to come back to haunt them and will be the cause of many sleepless nights, but honestly, if they're this old doing it, I think they're too far gone. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.